purpose of class diagram. In the previous video, we have discussed what is a class diagram and for what purpose this class diagram is there in our UML diagram list. So, in this session, we shall particularly discussing on the purpose of the class diagram. So, purpose of the class diagram is to model the static view of the application and class diagrams are the only diagrams which can directly map onto the object oriented programming languages and thus widely used at the time of the construction of the code. So, we are having multiple different softwares with the help of which you can develop the class diagrams and all other UML diagrams. So, in case of class diagram, we are having a space depending upon the software whatever you are going to use where you can write some algorithms, where you can write some sample codes, where we can write some segment of the code so that you can communicate with the developer that what is the code to be written in the form of algorithmic form or in the, in the form of some sample code you can write also there. So, this particular class diagram is particularly getting used by the coders during the development process and that is why this class diagram has become so unique compared to other UML diagrams. So, UML diagrams like your activity diagram, sequence diagram, they can depict the sequence flow, the dynamic nature of your application. However, class diagram is a bit different. It is the most popular UML diagram which is very much inclined with the coder community. The purpose of the class diagram can also be summarized in this way. Okay. Analysis and design of the static view of the application which we have discussed already earlier and describe the responsibilities of the system. That means each and every class we are having the set of attributes, we are having the set of methods which will be denoting what are the permitted operations that we can carry out on those attributes, different constraints, a purposeful class name. So, that is why it describes the responsibilities of a system. For it is actually best, best for the component and the deployment diagram. It is the best for the component and the deployment diagram. Forward and reverse engineering. When you are going to develop a new software, we are going for the forward engineering. And whenever you are trying to get the layouts, the model of the developed software, then we are going for the reverse engineering. Always remember whenever we are drawing any class diagram, whenever we are drawing such different classes are getting related with different relationships and all. Always remember, keep this one in mind, there is a underneath layer of database. So, whenever you are drawing some class diagram, keep this one in mind, that is the underneath layer of the database. So, that is why we have discussed all these points which will depict the purpose of class diagram for the development one application. Thanks for watching this video.